Hi guys, my name is Jen. We are working in Max Lucado's book, Safe in the Shepherd's Arms. And if we nestle deep in the tall shoots of his love, there we will find rest. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So let's get into it. For sheep to sleep, everything must be just right. No predators, no tension in the flock, no bugs in the air, no hunger in the belly. Everything must be just so. Unfortunately, sheep themselves cannot find a safe pasture, nor can they spray insecticide. They can't deal with the frictions or find food. They need help. They need a shepherd to lead them and help them lie down in green pastures. Without a shepherd, they can't rest. In the second verse of the 23rd Psalm, David the poet becomes David the artist. His quill becomes a brush, his parchment a canvas, and his words paint a picture. A flock of sheep on folded legs encircling a shepherd. Bellies nestled deep in long shoots of grass. A still pond on one side, the watching shepherd on another. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Note the two pronouns before in both of those statements. He makes me. He leads me. Who is the active one? Who's in charge? The shepherd. The shepherd selects the trail and prepares the pasture. The sheep's job, our job, is to watch the shepherd. With our eyes on the shepherd, we'll be able to get some sleep. Isaiah 26, 3 says, You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. For us to be healthy, we have to rest. Slow down and God will heal us. He will bring rest to our mind, to our body, and most of all to our soul. He will lead us to green pastures. The green pastures were not the natural terrain of Judea. The hills around Bethlehem where David kept his flock were not lush and green. Even today, they are white and parched. Any green pasture in Judea is the work of a shepherd. A shepherd has cleared the rough and rocky land. Stumps have been torn out. Brush has been burned. Irrigation. Cultivation. Such are the work of a shepherd. Hence, when David said, he makes me to lie down in green pastures, he is saying, my shepherd makes me to lie down in his finished work. With his own pierced hands, Jesus created a pasture for the soul. He tore out the thorny underbrush of condemnation. He pried loose the huge boulders of sin. In their place, he planted seeds of grace. He dug ponds of mercy. And he invites us to rest there. Can you imagine the satisfaction in the heart of a shepherd when, with work completed, he sees his sheep rest in the tender grass? Can you imagine the satisfaction in the heart of God when we do the same? His pasture is a gift to us. This is not a pasture that you and I have made, nor is it a pasture that we deserve. It is a gift, a gift from God. To recognize God as Lord is to acknowledge that he is sovereign and supreme in the universe. To accept him as savior is to accept his gift of salvation offered on the cross. To regard him as father is to go a step further. Ideally, a father is the one in your life who provides and protects. That is exactly what God has done. God has proven himself as a faithful father. Now it falls on us to be his trusting children. Think about the pasture that he has created for you today. Keep that in your heart, and I'll see you on the next one.